The coronavirus pandemic is likely to have a major impact on the Kenyan economy, not only in the year 2020, but in a couple of years to come. And according to statistical evidence presented by various quarters, the economy is likely to register its weakest growth in more than 15 years, or worse, sink into a painful recession. In the last four months, Kenya's economy has been battered by serious headwinds caused by the coronavirus pandemic and the locust invasion that now threatens food security. But it is the COVID-19 pandemic that is likely to have major bearing on the economic growth this year. In the year 2020, Treasury was projecting the economy to expand by 6.5% after expanding by 5.6% in 2019, but this has now been revised. This year we are looking at a growth of about 6% uh, six, six of GDP. But this will drastically drop to about three or even less. But we are going to give a firm figure uh, when we'll have taken it on board, the impact of this maybe in the next one month. Treasury Cabinet Secretary Ukuri Yatani says disruption in supply chain for key inputs and tourism, as well as reduced business activity, will negatively impact the country's projected growth. At 3% economic growth, this would be the slowest growth in the last 10 years. Speaking when he received 2 billion shillings recovered from graft, the CS father said the Kenya Revenue Authority will miss its revenue target by a big margin this year due to suppressed economic activities. The net import of uh, the incentives will result in 272 billion revenue loss for Kenya per year. So if you are looking at three months, then you are looking at a figure of about uh, 60 billion. The Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission is targeting a further 8 billion shillings from SLEAS that will go towards the fund. Government ministries will have to operate with tighter budgetary allocations this year as the country channels most resources to fight the pandemic. Treasury is expected to table a revised supplementary budget to the National Assembly once it resumes its sittings next week. We are also now going to reallocate funds from travels, funds from uh, some development projects so that we can now manage. And you know, moving forward, it's clear that our revenue streams are going to shrink. But how much, we're still studying. Treasury will also have to shave development vote as it struggles to deal with the crisis. O'Brien came in for Channel 1.